welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video today. No, it is not a brand new WWE action figure surgery video. That will be coming after we get our Elite 71, if it ever arrives. When Elite Series 71 arrives, guys, we will review that entire set, and then we will move on to surgery. You guys know we always do that every single time we get brand new figures. We always do a surgery episode revolving around the whole set, and we fix them up and show you guys how you can fix them up. But here today, today is going to be some custom figure ideas, slash some stuff that I have worked on but I have not yet completed and it's sort of like in the woodworks and you know I'm trying to still figure it out and everything I'm going to go through the process everything that I've done here and uh, just sort of take you guys through what I'm thinking and what my my thinking is behind all these customs and just everything in between guys so what we have here uh let's just I guess we can start off with what's on the stretcher here and then we will move on from there so let's first off let's just ah uh, let's move everything backwards and get just you know just scoot this back and get this back here and just kind of get this oh my god people cracking skulls open. So starting out first, guys, what we have right here, actually, you know what, first of all, let's let's talk about NXT last night. I wanted to do a full video on it, but then I was like, you know, freaking, you know, yeah, freaking. I don't have my North American Championship. I don't have a custom Roderick Strong. There's some things missing. I know I could talk about, you know, Velveteen Dream, but I don't have the North American Championship because I don't have my Elite Series 71 Adam Cole. And, you know, I just don't have a lot of those NXT guys, so it's kind of difficult to make a video about it. But anyways, let's dive into the customs right here, guys. You will notice this is a Dolph Ziggler work in progress right now and what this is is a Dolph Ziggler torso and shoulders there is a crack in the neck and one thing that sucks eggs is I'm actually not going to keep it this way because I, 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 I'm just not big on this this torso crack right here. This torso crack isn't as clean as I would like. Uh, this side's not as bad but on this side that gap right there for me is just too big and I've tried I've tried cracking it open and re-cracking it and re-putting it back together and I cannot get it to sit flush as far as the torso is concerned. I'm not really worried about the neck crack because if I put a Dolph Ziggler head sculpt on there then it would uh, cover it up but I think I'm going to have to recrack this torso and get a new Dolph Ziggler torso in here because it's just not working out but anyways what this is is a GameStop RetroFest exclusive whatever the hell you want to call it Shawn Michaels figure the Rockers figure and I just cracked the torso acetoned all the zebra stripes off of the legs and I removed the boots and the knee pads and the you know boot covers and all of that good jazz and I have replaced it with a Dolph Ziggler torso. Now the thinking behind this is to create that attire. You guys know that light blue attire with the skulls on it. That's like my favorite attire. And I thought about doing a fantasy attire and I thought it would have worked perfectly. I have some Dolph Ziggler boots. I thought about, you know, painting over all of these, uh, these zebra stripes right here in black and doing the same thing down the legs. But then I was like, that's pretty much the network spotlight Shawn Michaels figure. And then I was like, well then again, it's not. And then like the pattern doesn't continue on the calf so I'd have to freehand that. I'd have to add knee pads and freehand that and I don't know what I'm thinking I would love to know your thoughts down below and what you think I should do with it do you think I should put I'm definitely gonna put a new torso on it because that doesn't sit flush and that really bothers me and I've done it many times to try and fix it but I can't get it fixed so maybe I can get that done but this torso cracks really nice it has a tight ab crunch it, it doesn't you know it's not loosey-goosey and all that good stuff but uh, I'm gonna put some Dolph Ziggler boots on here some knee pads possibly some decals um, I left this here because I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet I'll probably end up acetoning it off but I would love to know down in the comment section below what you think about this one, but I am excited about this, and unfortunately it didn't work out at the time, but I will get it fixed. Next up, guys, we're going to talk about my boy Cedric Alexander right here, who uh, is looking pretty damn good, and he's on the rumor mill right now. Apparently Vince McMahon wants to bury the man. That's so unfortunate and makes me sick to my freaking stomach. If that rumor is true, guys, that's just sickening, but you guys will see it's not very clean as far as the white paint's concerned because I haven't cleaned it up yet. I was just busy making the lines and everything working on this yet yesterday and I'm not done with it by any stretch of the imagination but uh, it is a work in progress and anyways let's just get in here even though it's messy right now um, I just know that it will be cleaned up the CA looks pretty good but what this is is the TNF Seth Rollins vest and what I did was I came in painted over the Seth Rollins logo and uh, painted on the CA logo because I love Cedric Alexander you guys know and I wanted him to have an entrance jacket but I didn't want him to be using the Elite 37 jacket that a lot of other people use or the, the Elite 37 vest I didn't want to use that vest because 
because I felt that, you know, everybody else used it and I want to do my own thing. So I took the TNF Seth Rollins vest, painted the CA logo on there. He had a shirt on the Indies that was like a Deadpool shirt, but it was called Said Pool and it had the CA logo. If I can, I'll bring up an image so you guys can see it. And so uh, I wanted to replicate that logo there. I painted over all of this, uh, this line work here. There was a gray stripe right here I painted over. I painted over all those gray stripes going down the center here. Repainted this purple, added the purple CA, added a white outline to it, added all the white details to it. And now that I'm looking at it, I think the best thing that would be to do would be to, I could probably paint over all this purple with like a lighter pinkish purple like this, um, but it doesn't really it doesn't really bother me that bad, you know, so I'm not that worried about it. However, uh, this white definitely has to be cleaned up. It's something that has to be cleaned up. I have to seal it all up, but it looks good. I'm pretty excited for it. I think it came out pretty good, and um, one thing I will say is maybe like painting over this these white outlines in the pinkish purple color and then maybe coming in and painting the uh, maybe the CA and the silver or something. I'm not sure. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think or do you think I should leave it as it is. I really love the CA logo. I thought that came out pretty clean. Again, all the black has to touch up to make the white even, but again, I was just cramming that in there because you have to like glob paint up in there to get it in these holes, so I gotta fill up that and freaking clean it up. But for this is what it looks like for right now, so I'd love to know your thoughts down below on what you think of the Cedric Alexander and uh, it, it looks good. We're gonna see him in action in his singles debut on MDT Live this week. Another custom that we're working on, guys, is this Shawn Michaels, and I could not remember if I showed you guys this one or not. Uh, I, I really cannot remember. But anyways, what this is is a work in progress, early 2000s Shawn Michaels, and what I'm doing here is I took the Elite 19, I outlined all of the hearts in red, I also came back here, outlined the Heartbreak Kid, filled it in with silver, got all the black filled in on the hearts as well, and what I'm going to do is he didn't wear kick pads, Brad. He did not wear kick pads. What he wore were the Dolph Ziggler boots, but instead of, you know, the white and black, Zig, or uh, Shawn Michaels had them where the tips of the flaps were silver, so I shaved off those straps, I flattened them out, so it kind of looks like Shawn Michaels boots from that era, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace his lower legs with these Chavo Guerrero lower legs that I had in my fodder bin, so we're going to stick this right here, and then we're going to add the Shawn Michaels boots to it, and that will really complete the look, make him look like a Shawn Michaels from that era. The only thing preventing me from doing that is I need white wrist tape Shawn Michaels arms. So if you guys have any white wrist tape Shawn Michaels arms that are the old articulation, not the crappy new articulation or none of that jazz, I would really appreciate that so I can get that in there, get that switched and everything, and get all of those fix-ups taken care of. That way we can finish this Shawn Michaels and I can add him up on the shelf. I mean, he's on the shelf already, but I would really like to, you know, get him up there finished. So that is something that I was also working on. I could, again, I couldn't remember if I showed you guys that one, but I did want to mention it here. So there's another custom that we're walk working on. Now we have a few AJ Styles ideas that I want to get into real quick. But first, let's go ahead and talk about this guy back here. This is a guy I got in a trade. This is a Ultimo Dragon slash custom that was made out of a Defining Moments Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. He's got some black boots on there. He's supposed to have white boots, I think. This is like a TN. I can't remember if this is like Toy Biz or Jax or what head sculpt this is, but it is an Ultimo Dragon head sculpt. And somebody made this. Uh, I think Harrison used to have this in his pick fed or something. Somebody had this in their pick fed and then they got it in a trade and now it ends up over here on MDT. I know this arm is not the right color, but I know that this would be a really easy custom to make and I thought about, you know, what about Ultimo Dragon? What if he showed up in the pick pit? pick fed or something like that. That would be pretty crazy. Um, I know he's been used in pick feds before in this set. I think this same figure has been used in people's feds before. Like this exact figure. So I think that's pretty insane. What if he were to make his way across different promotions, you know, as Ultimo Dragon, as this same figure, you know, bouncing around from people, from collector to collector. I think that's hilarious and cool. But I did want to fix up the boots. I don't like these boots for him. The black looks bleh. And then the black sleeve isn't too bad, but the uh, this, this color arm has to be switched out for sure because this is like a Seth Rollins skin tone. This is more of a Dean Ambrose skin tone. So I'll definitely have to switch that out. But uh, I would like to paint up the mask and touch it up for sure. I don't know. Just let me know what you're thinking down below. You could also use this head for a Pentagon probably if you wanted to. But anyways, let me know down in the comment section below. And finally, guys, we have a few AJ Styles customs. And what I'm thinking right here, this is, uh, this is a pretty wicked idea if I can get it all to work out. So just bear with me for a second right now. Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. So there's a few ways that we can do this. And this is what I'm thinking. Uh, uh, take this AJ Styles right here. It has the Survivor Series Elite kick pads on it, black knee pads. What I thought about doing, I've started it right here. I thought about painting over all of the red on this figure 
in blue. So you would take any red on this figure, the AJ Styles logo right there, any red on the belt, paint it over it in this kind of color blue, and then switch the arms with the Elite 47 AJ Styles or the Elite 56 AJ Styles, and then, or you could even switch it with the uh, the Survivor Series Elite. Whichever one you wanted to do, you could switch it with that, and then you would have a full like black and blue AJ, which I know would be very similar to the Elite 47, but it would be a little bit different. It'd have different kick pads, it would have a different look on the graphics, you'd have the AJ logo, you'd have the P1 logo with the stars going around it with all of the different things. So that's a very cool fix up AJ Styles slash custom you could do. I think some of the best AJ Styles customs are the ones where you take some and then you paint it up a little bit or part switch it just a little and make it a brand new AJ Styles figure. Um, that's why I'm trying to track down a lot of them to do the different fix ups of that nature. So the other one would be taking this AJ Styles, switching the right kick pad with the right kick pad from the Network Spotlight AJ Styles, so it'd have two red kick pads. Then you would take the arms that have the red gloves, put those on this AJ Styles so that you have red gloves with black and red attire, and then instead of painting over all the red and blue, you would paint over the, all the blue in red. So then you would have a black and red AJ Styles. You'd come in, you'd paint over the P1 in red, you'd paint over the AJ in red, and you would be stuck with a fully red and black AJ Styles that would kind of look like what he's wearing on TV right now. You'd have your blue and black AJ Styles, and then you'd have this AJ Styles with no kick pads or arms, but it would be a white attire, which would be really easy to convert into any custom you wanted with any kick pads you wanted. So there you go. That, that would be a really sweet little deal to do. Um, I'm just waiting on what I exactly want to do with it, and I'd have to do a lot of painting, and I'm trying to get my thoughts together on what I want to do for these. But that is my custom ideas, guys. You had the Cedric Alexander. Oh, one thing I forgot about it mention about Cedric Alexander is I thought about switching out his knee pads for white knee pads and then switching out his kick pads for full white kick pads like he had that one attire though it's like one of my favorite attires he's ever worn he wore it on 205 live before I don't, I don't know if you guys have seen that but it, it looked pretty freaking fresh and then I thought about coming in here on these black kick pads and adding white outsoles and then adding some purple to the shoes or just painting all of the shoes under the kick pads purple with white outsoles I don't know that's just something I'm thinking of as well let me know down in the comment section below guys but that is going to do it for my custom ideas for today. Again, uh, a lot of wor uh, whips in progress. Whips in progress. Works in progress. A lot of stuff going on. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of all of them. I would love to know. And uh, we're going to get all these finished. We're going to get MDT Live finished. And we're going to get it up so we can move on to the Go Home Show for Vindication. But uh, we're also awaiting on our Elite 71. And when that arrives, thank God we really freaking need my Elite 71 so I can review it for you guys and rank them and freaking fix them up and surgery them and all that ish. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.